guys, it's our chairman here. Now, I'm sorry I couldn't get you guys a video earlier over the weekend. I was pretty busy. I was busy, but since I have some time, I guess I, I just thought I would show you my airport. So this is really what I have so far. Um, there's, you know, two runways. One over here, sh one over here, shorter than the other one over there. Um, it's a little obvious. Uh, yeah, we have our approach markings. Well, I have it over here. It's not over there though. Um, I didn't feel me and my dad didn't feel like putting that one in. Um, so, so yeah, I'll show you guys what the rough idea is going to be. Where I have the scotch tape is going to be terminals. So this is the original board that I had right here. So that tape over there. Uh, sorry, I'm going slow. Um, well, it's not focusing. Sorry, I'm going slow. It's just because I'm looking into the camera while moving my hand. So yeah, this piece is the older piece. Right there is going to be the terminal. Um, then I'm thinking I'll probably put domestic planes there. Maybe not. Maybe the domestic will go over here. But a few weeks ago, I built this piece with my dad. And yeah. Um, if International is here, there's going to be Terminal 1 or 2, um, 2 or 3, 1, 2 or 3 over there. Then we're probably most likely going to have cargo in here. Uh, if you guys have any other suggestions, please comment. And if you can see over here the, the um, change in color on the runway, that's just because we had two different colored paints. We couldn't find the black one for this piece until after we made it. So yeah, if you guys have any other suggestions for this layout, please comment. I mean, I'm in my garage right now. I'm probably going to move this somewhere else. But yeah, I'll show you guys pro most likely what my terminals are going to be like in a minute. And I'm going to get a couple models. Well, not in a minute. But it's going to be paused. So, yeah, if you guys have any other suggestions for a layout, please tell me. Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry if I just paused there. I don't know what happened, but I didn't have any models. I just got one of my 200 scales, and I wanted to just give you guys some news. I do have um, the E190 and um, A330 on pre-order. Those should be coming any day now. I got it from, I believe, Diecast Airplane is the website. I've bought, like, probably 90% of my models from them. They're a really good country, uh, company. They're in the same state as me, so I can get them faster, but that's not why I use them. I like them better than any other company. But, yeah, I just figured I would give you guys some, um, some news. And... Guys, I'm feeling pretty dumb right now. I just recorded the end of the video, and I forgot one of the most important things I wanted to tell you guys. And I didn't want to give you a sneak peek, so I brought my models back in. But, yeah. The mayor, well, old mayor of Boston, had just passed away. He was a very nice guy, for what I've heard of him. Well, I just, sorry, I kicked the dog's toy. But, yeah, he was a very nice man, from what I've heard. He just passed away, um, what, like Friday, and I saw him less than a year ago at this place called Jordan's, Jordan's Furniture Store, where he, there was this laser light show. I was in there with him just after he stopped being the mayor. He passed away from cancer, so I was thinking, out of balsa wood, I'll probably make some memorial. Now, the only design, well, if you guys have anything better tell me, but the only design I had was to make a square, well, no, a cube, then inside of it do a pyramid. I don't know how I got that idea, but that's just what popped up in my mind. And if I did that, I would probably put it somewhere under like the control tower. But yeah, um, in honor of him, I'll have something like that. And also in honor of him, I was going to build a skyline which would go on one of these two sides and that skyline 
He helped build the skyline in Boston when he was mayor. He was mayor for more than four years, probably like, I can't even count to tell you guys. You'd have to look it up. So he was there for a long, long time, not eight years or four years or anything. So he helped build the skyline and do all the good stuff for Boston. So I decided he should be included in this. Um, he was the mayor when they did the expansion of Logan to make it nicer and put up hotels, kind of redid the terminals and stuff. So I was going to do something in honor of him. And see you in the next clip. All right, guys, I'm back. So I grabbed a couple models. Um, I have the Air Train 717. That'll be in a different review. I reviewed that. And I reviewed that. I have other planes in my room. Uh, it's just, I didn't feel like grabbing them. Well, when I say other planes, I mean one and like three other broken models from my cousin. But I'm okay with it. So, yes, yeah, so this terminal, as you can see at the end here, it's kind of uh, rumpled up, whatever, crinkled up. Um, that's because I have cats and they step on them a lot. And um, I'll either use it, this one, fix it up a lot more than I did before this video, or completely remake it. Now I have one this, uh, I have another one this size right now. I have one about this thick. And I have one that's just like this but taller. Um, yeah, it's taller than that one, but, yeah, I thought I'd show you guys. So, the layout for this would be, airplanes would be coming all the way across, then up there, and then down like that. But then, for international, they would come from there, and they would come all the way down to here, and from there, all the way down to there. Now, I was, I was considering it, but I don't think I would do this because um, putting it, putting gates down here just because the runway's right there it doesn't seem right but maybe possibly there'll be something there and over there then tell me how many gates you guys think the cargo should have should it be like four five maybe six whatever but I'm thinking I'll either keep this or this open if if I, I'm saying if on purpose I expand this because I already have it expand and if if I, I did it it would just be so um you know there's more space oh that's probably a better view here's the boxing kangaroo airplane JetBlue 320 winglets new release and then the AirTran 717 <laughs> I got a little you know, mixed up there, but yeah. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Oh, hold on. One thing, in this crack, if anybody gets annoyed by it or anything like that, it's not permanent, um, and it's not gonna be like this forever. I mean, I know I have an extra little dot there. I'm gonna put something over here. It's not gonna be crooked like this. Me and my dad are gonna buy some foam kind of thing and seal it soon, and, yeah, so tell me if you want any more updates. I'll be building more terminals like that in the future. Um, yeah, uh, and I noticed I have one subscriber, so if you are watching this video, thank you. Um, hope you guys enjoyed, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.